Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to install eMovie R fresh with UGC ready to go, uh, everything ready. So what you want to do, you want to grab your browser like this. Uh, make sure also you have uh, WinRAR or WinZip, I mean, you know, something to open the file. Click on download right here, it's 736 megabytes. Alright, so the download's done, so you just want to go on your downloads grab the file, copy it to your desktop. All right, so when you're there, open up Trix pre-made eMovie R, grab the folder, sorry, grab the folder, drag it to where you want it to be. I'm gonna drag it to my desktop. Um, so yeah, so let's give this a second. Um, I'm gonna show you how to install games and stuff and systems real quick after I've done this. Should not take very long now. Okay, um, so open up Trix pre-made eMovie R. This has got the latest version of eMovie R, the latest Wii U. Um, so what you want to do is click on Force Desktop, so you can just see it on your desktop, so then you're not having to um, go in VR just to check. Um, so it'll say Unity. There we are, we're in. We've also, we've, we've also got one UGC already installed, which is just a Pokemon card, somewhat small. Uh, you can press X or C to grab it, I forget which one, and just drop it there. So that's one custom UGC. Once you download any other UGC, it goes in the main eMovie R folder, custom, UGC, capitals, and drag and drop the .UGC folder I mean file in there, uh, yeah. I do not know how to make uh, vinyl uh, record work. I don't know how to get them working, so don't bother asking me, I'm not sure. And neither do I know how to get the golden NES cartridges to work. People have asked and I've tried helping, but I'm not 100%, so I don't know. Uh, so yeah, so this is pre-made. It's also pre-made with RetroArch, the version you need, so literally, once you've got it, the folder, boot it up in desktop mode, make sure it works. And then once you've done that, go on to games, because you have no system, and type in any name. So we're just going to call it PS1. You can do it, You can do the same with PS2 and a PS2 ISO. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my uh, game here for the PS1, Chess USA version, bin and Q copy it in fact open the ps1 folder inside games copy it directly into there uh won't take a second there we go so games go in the main folder games system name and then iso goes in there and then once you've added the game it won't show up you need to go into a uh, game scanner inside the eMovie R folder and double click gamescanner.exe Wait, give it a second. Retro hatch, retro patch for eMovie R applied successfully. So then, what you want to do is add a folder, PS1. If you name it somewhat like PS1, it'll detect what it is. So there we go. This is the, it's, and then you can select what it is. Is it a Nintendo 64? Is it an arcade machine? Is it a Dreamcast? But it already selects what it thinks it is, which is a PlayStation One. And then click on the emulator you want to use. We're going to use Beetle PSX because it's the best one I believe and then save the changes download the missing cores that's okay scan for games and then what I do is I do update card update card data and then always end it with an attempt to autofill just in case and then if we go back to our eMovie R pre-made folder open up desktop again and it's gonna load up fast hopefully and then here we are in the room the basic room so you press tab to open up your consoles for some reason there's a ps2 i'm not sure why i only added the ps1 but we grab the ps1 pressing the x key take it where you want it you scroll to put it anywhere further away and then press c to open it up then go down to playstation or whatever system you've got grab it with x place it inside with x shut and then you can shut the lid but if you try and press the game, play it, it'll do it anyway. So press tab to come out of the menu. Press F, and then F when you're looking at the telly, it'll connect. 
then click on the telly or the PlayStation. I'm going to click on the telly with the space bar button. Oh, well, it says the BIOS are missing. But getting BIOS is like something you've got to do yourself. I don't know how to... I don't want to promote stealing BIOS. But if you ask anybody how to get RetroArch BIOS, it's pretty easy stuff. Uh, but yeah, so that is an easy, simple tutorial to get EmuVR and Wigu all latest installed right away. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.